All right, guys. So today we're going to go over Graves' disease. As I mentioned, it is a type of hyperthyroidism. It is most commonly referred to as Graves' disease. Again, if you hear that, think hyperthyroidism. I'm going to get into it. I'm going to break it down, make it less confusing, and tell you what the NPTE wants you to know about this. So anatomy, again, is a type of hyperthyroidism. So what's happening is the thyroid is over secreting thyroxine. Thyroxine is the T4. There is another one that's a longer name that is T3, but we're talking about T4 in this specific example. Again, it could be the thyroid itself is the problem and is over secreting. That would be considered primary hyperthyroidism. Secondary is the next thing up the chain. Where did it just come from? The pituitary gland, specifically the anterior pituitary gland, secretes what's called thyroid stimulating hormone that tells the thyroid to produce all three thyroxine, T4, or no, T3, thyroxine, aka T4, and then calcitonin. So if there's too much TSH being secreted and hyper and telling the thyroid, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, that would be secondary um, hyperthyroidism. Tertiary hyperthyroidism would be if it's coming from the um, hypothalamus telling the pituitary gland to release, which then's releasing too much. So just remember if it's primary, it's the thyroid. If it's secondary, it's the next thing up the chain, which would be the pituitary. And if it's tertiary, it's the next thing up the chain, which would be the hypothalamus. So this is a type of hyperthyroidism. And what it's going to do is increase our metabolic rate. So remember, if we have um, overactive thyroid, our metabolic rate is shooting through the roof because that is what our thyroid hormones are responsible for. Specifically, thyroxine is responsible for increasing our metabolic rate, speeding up our heart rate, speeding up the way that we break down um, all of our you know, molecules in our body to go with our metabolism. That's pretty much what's going on. Nothing much to it. So know about the thyroid. That's what's going on. Thyroid's doing too much. She's doing too much. Um, etiology of this is essentially a patient has um, an overstimulated thyroid, which causes it to produce an excess amount of thyroxine. What's happening is the metabolic rate is going to increase, which means that our weight is going to decrease. So because our met metabolism is sped up, we're breaking things down so much. We're metabolizing food really quickly. We're going to have a decrease in our weight. Our mood changes, you're going to become more anxious, more like uh, freaked out about things. You're going to have more on edge kind of thing. And that's because as our metabolic rate increases, we start working ourselves up. So our weight change would be we decrease in weight. Our mood changes would be we get more anxious and things like that. Our heart palpitations, all of that stuff. And then their tolerance, the temperature changes. What do I mean by this is their metabolism's going, they're burning a lot of stuff. They're creating a lot of energy. They're getting their body really warm, which means that if they're put in a warm environment, they're already hot. So if you put them in a hot environment, it's just going to make them more hot, more irritated, not good, and they will not tolerate heat very well. So the big thing with Grace disease, they do not tolerate heat at all. Do not put this person in a warm pool. What's happening with the actual pathology of Graves' disease, so it's a type of hyperthyroidism, but what's happening is there is this molecule, which is an antibody so called TRAB. It is an antibody that has an abnormally high presence floating around in the thyroid area. This body, if the antibody is going to act the exact same way that TH, TSH does. So remember I said TH, TSH is the hormone that's called thyroid stimulating hormone. So it stimulates the thyroid to create T3, T4, all that stuff. And so what's going on is this antibody acts the same way. So it's not that there's so much TSH going on. What's happening is this other antibody is present in such a high amount that the body thinks that there's too much TSH going on to the thyroid. And what's happening is that we're going to have way too much T4 being produced because this is all happening. So here's this picture here. If you're on the podcast, check out the YouTube video. Um, but with Graves' disease, we can see that we have our thyroid cells here. Here are our receptors. And so here's our antibodies. So all these antibodies are binding to the receptors on the thyroid cell, which is going to cause it to overproduce T4. And then that's going to cause some problems. So what's going on is we have these antibodies that act the same way as thyroid stimulating hormone. They still attach to the receptors. They, hey, make, make T4, make T4, make T4, make T4. And then this, because this antibody is present too high, you're making too much T4. There's our problem. And then that's why we have 
our enlarged thyroid, which is called a goiter, that's because it's overstimulated, that anxiety and tremors from that increased metabolic rate, which increases the metabolism of everything, makes you really high strung, makes us have those tremors, more fatigue, the bulging eyes called an exophthalmus, um, and then we got our, you know, rapid heart rate kind of going on. So essentially it's just go, go, go with this condition. So let's get into the things that the board's actually going to quiz you on. Cause the main thing you need to know, all of that information was just little extra bits of information to kind of have you guys fully understand what's going on with this pathology. What you basically need to know for the boards to sum it up is that hyperthyroidism, increasing metabolic rate, making them hot, anxious and sweating and tremors and stuff. That's what's going on because we're making everything go up. Everything's going through the roof we're doing too much. That's kind of what's going on. So what does it look like? These are some of the things that the board's going to ask you about. So they have a heat intolerance. I told you that because their metabolism so fast because all of this overstimulation of this thyroid gland is going to cause too much T4, increasing our metabolic rate, creating so much heat that the patient's already hot. So if we put them in a hot environment, they're already hot. They're not going to like that. Increased appetite because their metabolic rate is too fast, too much T4 floating around telling us, keep going, go, 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 go. We're hungry. We're eating a lot of food, but we're still losing weight. They'll have the tremors because we're, we're doing too much. Everything's overactivated. Not good. Insomnia. Again, brain's doing too much. Everything's doing too much weight loss. We're burning too many calories that we need to then like a normal made up meta, normal basal metabolic rate, uh, tachycardia, heart palpitations, this thing called an exophthalmus. So this is where we have the bulging eyes. So I have lots of pictures of this. So we have what it'll look like from the front. We can see that the eyes are completely bulging out over here. And I have a picture of Elmo. And this is because my boyfriend, who's also a PTA, he said that if you have Graves' disease, he automatically associates that with Elmo, with the eyes popping out. I don't know why it works, but it works. So we are giving Nick the nod for that one. So think Graves' disease, Elmo, eyes popping out. That's what's going on. And that's our exophthalmus. And that's just because we're doing too much. Too much is going on. The eyes are bulging out. We'll have fatigue. We'll have weakness. We'll have sweating. So they'll become diaphoretic. And that's just going to cause a lot more problems. We'll have dyspnea upon exertion. So because they're already doing too much, they're already at that high rate. They don't have a big tolerance for exercise. So if you start exercising, they'll start getting out of breath like right away because they're already at that high level. So we're at a high level at our basal metabolic rate. It's already raised. We try to do a little bit more. If we're already doing too much. We get exhausted with just a, a, a light jog. It's not happening. Anxiety and mental fatigue. Again, everything is doing too much. The brain is doing too much. We're breaking things down. It's too much. That's what's going on with this. So how are we treating this? This person will essentially be put on medication to decrease thyroid activity. If it's too overactive, they might have a thyroidectomy. So they couldn't need surgery, take it out. But a generally, a lot of times they respond well enough with medication, which the medication is just saying, calm down. We're telling the antibody to stop, calm down. Do not put this patient in a heated pool under any circumstances. Do not put this person in any heated sauna, hot outside, heated environment, hot pool. No, this is a contraindication. We're not doing this at all. Be aware of the signs of distress that are associated with this condition. So that's if they start sweating too much, dyspnea upon exertion. Remember, dyspnea is the, the um, difficulty breathing, uh, any sort of decrease, um, increase in fatigue or weakness. So if we're working out this person, they start looking really bad. We're doing rest breaks. Rest breaks are good with this person. Have them kind of calm everything down. We'll be okay. And then we'll move on. So energy conservation techniques. And it's like key with this patient, if we're seeing energy conservation techniques for Graves' disease, that's a good answer. We like those answers. Generally for most conditions, we really like those answers. And so education and awareness on the triggers that could cause any sort of exacerbations and then lots of rest breaks. So if we notice that with like running or something like that, or maybe like being outside in the heat is our trigger, we're gonna tell the patient like, hey, calm down. Let's not do too much. Let's take a little rest. So lots of rest breaks for this patient. We really don't want to overexert them. We want them to be okay. And we don't want to do too much. But yeah, lots of rest breaks. All right, our key words for this condition when we're seeing it on the exam. Hyperthyroidism. So this is a type of hyperthy hyperthyroidism. 
If we're seeing Graves' disease, we're thinking thyroid, too much hyperthyroidism, not good. Heat intolerance, that's the big one because these are the times, remember the boards is a safety test. We don't want to hurt our patients or cause them any extra distress. Heat intolerance, don't put them in a heated pool, not good. Keep them out of the sauna, bad, just no. The exophthalmus, if we see that, that's the bulging Elmo eyes, bulging out of their head we're thinking Graves' disease because that's one of those characteristics that really when we see it, the only pathology that we can think of that's associated with that would be hyperthyroidism. Weight loss because the metabolism's too fast, we're breaking down food too fast, we're just, we're doing too much. Graves' disease. And then overproduction of uh, T4 thyroxine, that is literally the definition of hyperthyroidism. If we're seeing that Graves' disease could be the answer to the question. If they're saying like, what kind of condition would cause this? Graves disease. And then fatigue, dyspnea, and weakness upon exertion. Those are all the signs that we're saying, okay, let's let this patient chill out. They need to take a break. We'll be okay. Just chill. So that's what's going on with Graves disease, the fatigue, the dyspnea, and the weakness upon exertion, hyperthyroidism, too much T4, weight loss, heat intolerance, all that stuff. The Elmo eyes, exophthalmus. These are all things that are screaming Graves disease. So, sample question, guys. A physical therapist assistant is treating a patient diagnosed with Graves' disease. Which of the following is not true regarding Graves' disease? One, patient could present with bradycardia. Two, heat intolerant. Three, patient could present with exophthalmus. Or four, it is a type of hyperthyroidism. So if you've been paying attention, this one should be pretty straightforward, but I'll give you guys a second to think about that. All right, guys. So the answer is patient could present with bradycardia. Remember when we have somebody with Graves disease, everything's we're doing too much, too much. So bradycardia is our slow heart rate, which is less than 60 beats per minute. With Graves disease, we would see a higher heart rate or elevated heart rate or way too high heart rate, which would be tachycardia. Remember the normal heart rate range for resting heart rate would be between 60 and hundred beats per minute. Below 60 is our bradycardia. Above hundred is our tachycardia. So it would not be bradycardia for this patient. It would be tachycardia. As I harped on a million times, they are heat intolerant. So that is true. The exophthalmus, we should associate that with Graves' disease and the hyperthyroidism. Yes, Graves' disease is a type of hyperthyroidism. If we're thinking of hypothyroidism, another condition that we could talk about later would be Hashimoto's disease. And that is uh, Hashimoto's thyroiditis is the full name for that. And that is where you have hypothyroidism. So Graves' disease, hyperthyroidism. There we go. That is everything that you need to know about Graves' disease. So let me know if you have any further questions and I'll see y'all in the next one.